If you've gone online and looked at grow lights, you probably noticed there are a couple different types. There are these grow strip lights or there are these full panels of LEDs. So in this video, I wanna talk about the subtle but very key and important differences between these two types of lights so you can make the right decision when purchasing your grow lights. Now you may notice that panel lights are usually less expensive. This is because really there's just less going on there. Uh, with a panel of LEDs, it's just one circuit board that they can attach the different light emitting diodes to. And there's not much more than that. It's a fairly simple thing when it comes to one panel of LEDs. But that's not really the difference that I'm interested in discussing with you guys. What I wanna talk with you guys about is why these strip light LEDs actually are better for an indoor growth environment than these larger panel LEDs and what I've noticed in my experience with using both of these and what I want to share with you guys. So I have used this very large 4x4 panel light in my grow tent for quite some time and honestly this light itself has become a variable that I've had to fight against and buy other things to deal with the amount of absolutely immense heat that this light lets off and then traps underneath its canopy because all the heat's coming out from right underneath the diodes and it's not really going anywhere. It's just sitting there and there's not a lot of air around it to move up and around because I'm in a 4x4 grow tent with a 4x4 light. So I've had to deal with a lot of heat issues in my garden. That being said, dollar for dollar, this is a really fantastic value. I personally don't stand behind Mars Hydro anymore. That's another video for another day. I recommend this AC Infinity light. It's a much better light with much better diodes and heat displacement. So it won't get quite as hot as that Mars Hydro light, but even still a flat panel light like this will definitely get much hotter. So when it comes to the advantages of using these strip lights over the panel lights, that's where things are gonna start. And from there, a few different variables are adjusted too that make them even better. Let me get into those. So because we're displacing the heat and we're moving the heat up and out away from the light itself with these strip lights, you can actually mount more LEDs overall on the entire light surface. With these panel lights, there are only so many LEDs you can put in one area before you have to worry about it getting far too hot, overheating, even catching fire. Because the ventilation is so high with the LED strip lights, you can, cram, you can not only cram more LED diodes into the light itself, but you're also gonna get more performance from the light. The manufacturers don't have to worry about spending so much on cooling the light down. Instead, they can focus on power output and optimizing the LED diodes themselves. Then adversely, when it comes to cost, these strip lights do tend to cost more. That's because typically there are more LED diodes overall, and there's a lot more moving pieces. Each one of these strips is individually manufactured and then attached to the whole structure. I'm sure some of the price comes down to the desirability and the efficiency of these lights as well. So you're kind of paying for the outcome a little bit too, but really because there are so many more diodes and there are so many more pieces, parts to the actual light itself, I totally understand why these lights are more money. So I guess the question is, is it worth the extra money to get the strip light rather than buying a panel light? Well, I guess that depends on your needs. If you're not gonna cram this light in a grow tent and you have no problem with ventilation, and if it's a large area that's not gonna get too hot because of the light, if you can move the air around the light and have air conditioning coming in, then it might not really be a problem for you. However, if you're in a grow tent and you want like a fully optimized indoor growth environment, then there really is no competition. From now on, I'm only gonna be buying strip lights. I'm no longer gonna be buying panel lights because of my recent experiences with just excess heat with these panel lights. So make sure you check out humblegrowthhydroponics.com where I have a ton of lighting guides, hydroponic guides, indoor gardening guides, tower garden guides, anything you're into, I guarantee you could find a free guide over there that'll help you out. So make sure you check that out. That'll be linked up in the description box too. And let's grow together. Thank you.